Welcome back to a very festive Let's Play of Mega Man. This is my Mega Man X Mess Special. Of course, Mega Man being the most festive of all Super Nintendo characters, why the hell not would you not want to play Mega Man on the holidays? So whether this is your Christmas or your Hanukkah or your Kwanzaa or your Festivus for the rest of us, hope you guys are ready to see some sweet robot-on-robot -robot action today. We, in the last episode, beat up Chill Penguin. We beat up... Uh, what order did we do this? We beat up Storm Eagle, and then we beat up uh, this Armadillo guy. These are the three guys that I could beat mano a mano using no cheap tactics as a kid. I trained myself. I honed my skills. Me and my brother did. And today we're going to hop in, and we're going to play against Spark Mandrel, but we're going to start being cheap by using the soul of Chill Penguin against him. By the soul, I mean the gun that we sawed off. I assume the way Mega Man gets his powers is he saws the hands off of the robots he kills and, like, solders it onto his hand or something. So we have the arm of Chill Penguin. It gives us a, a chill shotgun. And one thing you'll notice about this level is see this purple crap and this green crap? This is from the ship. This is from the Storm Eagle ship. If you guys play this game and you try this level without beating Storm Eagle, this level is far more dangerous and uh, you don't have these power surges. I don't believe you have the power surges anyway. And it's really interesting actually, the levels interact with each other. This is something I never really had seen in many other games as a kid. In fact, I don't even, I can't even really think of too many examples of it these days. And when we do see it in games, it's pretty cool. But um, yeah, so in this game, well, maybe you did have the light thing because those guys were always there, uh, whether the ship had crashed or not. But in this game, if you beat Storm Eagle, uh, that will change uh, subsequent levels. In fact, I think I think if you beat Chill Penguin, then it also freezes the fire level. If you try the fire level first, it's full of flames and stuff. But if you beat Chill Penguin and you go in, everything is like frozen. So this game, this game has some really neat mechanics. Oh, that guy almost got me. What are these guys? It's like elves riding on a moonbeam. Like what? what what kind of creativity does it take to invent that? Like, okay, we're gonna be, we have evil robots that we're gonna be fighting. What kind of robots should there be? Well, you know, we could have some birds with buzzsaw mohawks. How about some kind of weird octopus thing? And, oh, I know what we need. Oh yeah, that guy would shoot electricity if the ship had not crashed. We kind of like short-circuited him, so he's kind of uh, feeble. <laughs> he's defenseless, really. So this level's a lot harder if you don't if you don't beat the uh, the Storm Eagle level first. He has no charge. You're impotent, buddy. <clears throat> but yeah, what kind of creativity does it take to, after inventing all these other random robots, to be like, and you know what we need is a couple of elves riding on a moonbeam. Boom. You suck. Without your, this was like an uncharged iPhone. It was nothing, nothing but a hunk of junk. Because, I mean, not to pick on iPhones, could be an uncharged Android device, too, or a tablet, or a laptop, I don't know. Look at this guy. He's just skidding all over the place, having the time of his life. He's like, I don't even care about killing Mega Man. I'm just having so much fun. Oh, God, he killed me. Oh, God, where are we? <laughs> when the lights go off, I have no idea where I am. It's actually useful to have an enemy on screen, because you can kind of use them for reference, see? And, like, know where you're going. When it's totally dark like this, I don't even know where I'm going. Um, okay, let's try and sneak through like this. Oh yeah, we got the skills. I think we got the skills to pay the bills, my friends. And look, we, as soon as we shoot him, he goes all crazy. He's like, ah! We'll put him out of his misery. I may be a robot that's killing other robots, but I don't like to see them suffer, damn it. I'm not a monster. I'm, uh... In fact, <clears throat> it's kind of weird that Mega Man is... A robot when you when you look at him I always thought he was just like Mario he's just like a dude he's wearing like blue armor or whatever but he was actually a robo boy he was like Astro boy <clears throat> but it's kind of creepy to think about it because he's like he's literally a robot and somebody has sewn a human face onto him I mean first of all <clears throat> excuse me where did they get the face I hope that is an artificially created face and it's not like the face of like an orphan child that they used for experimentation That'd be truly horrifying. Oh, there's a heart. I don't know how to get it, so forget it. <laughs> the hearts, of course, will extend your energy bar. We have to start getting a couple of those, and I may have to come back and do some of these levels again to get them. Because to get that heart, one, the way I used to do it with my brother 
is you could get the boomerangs from the boomerang Kawango guy. One of the few bosses not themed like an animal, by the way. Um, and uh, once you once you have the boomerang, you can... Or maybe he is themed like an animal. I have no idea what kind of animal he is. Maybe he's a bug or something. Ah, the moonbeams! But once you have the boomerangs, the boomerangs can pick stuff up for you. So you kind of like throw the boomerang and it loops back and it gets the heart and it comes back to you. And that's how you get the heart. But, uh... God, these stupid moonbeams. Ah, gotcha! You're not going to be filling the dreams of any lost children tonight. Ah, oh, but you got me, you dick. Psych. It's like they only come out at dark. We get him like this. Yeah, that works. Oh, and he dropped an energy pellet. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Your sacrifice has been noted. Yeah, I always like this kind of jump pose. Kind of had his fists up in the air. Let's try and get a good pose here. Let's do a skidding pose. Action shot. He's charging into battle. Mega Man is ready for action. And here we go. So Spark Mandrill, I think he's supposed to be a monkey or something, or a baboon. So if you try and fight him normally... Oh, God. You get crushed. Like that! Look at this! Oh, God. Okay, I'm not even going to try, because I feel like he's going to kill me right away. But uh, this is how you fight him with Chill Penguin's gun. Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> That's not how you fight him with Chill Penguin's gun. Good thing, dear God, good thing we got those extra lives. Okay, let's go in ready this time. I was literally about to use my my energy tank and tank up, and he freaking punched me to death. So this guy's not messing around. So we're just gonna, we're, we're not gonna let him do anything to us. Boom, boom. If you time it just right, you freeze him every time and he can't do anything. It's gotta be the most frustrating experience in the world for him. He's like, oh my god, stop trolling me, you little bitch! Ah! Ooh. Ice to the face. Ice to meet ya, Spark Mandro. Let's just say you should learn to chill out. Uh freeze. I I couldn't think of one for that one. That's all I got. Two! It's pretty good for me, two puns. Mega Man now has stolen the soul of Spark Mandrill, and we are well on our way to becoming the ultimate robot. What does Mega Man do with all his powers after he beats all the bosses? Like, he spends, he kills nine sentient robots, takes their souls, has their guns strapped to him now. Then what does he do with all that? Like, it's not like he has those powers in the next Mega Man game. He always loses them somehow. Like, he, it's like he uh, gambles them away or something. I don't know. But what does he do? He would become like the ultimate killer robot because he'd have all these powers. You have to watch your mouth when you're around Mega Man once he's powered up. All right, we're going to go ahead and try Launch Octopus. I think we can use the Armadillo's powers to uh, get what we want here, to beat him. It's also funny how like the special powers, like what boss they'll beat, it, it's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's totally random. It's like, why did Ice beat the Spark Mandrel? I don't know, just because it did. Why is an armadillo's power going to beat an octopus? I don't know, just because. Like, it, it, it is a thing of Mega Man where, like, one power beats another, but, like, you would think that the ice power would beat the fire guy, but it doesn't. You know what beats the fire guy? The tornado power. Go figure. It's just kind of, like, random. Um, not, that I, not that I really have much to complain. I mean, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. But it would be kind of nice if, like, the powers made a little more sense as to, like, what beat what. Like, if there's some indication that Ice would beat the electric guy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you'd do it. But you might have to rethink what powers beat what. Oh, God, these things. This is really annoying. Oh, my God, an extra life. But that would kill us to get it. And and energy. Yeah, we, we would just... I, as soon as Mega Man has a real allergy to spikes, he can take, like, robots to the face, bullets and lasers. But if, he, if his, like, toe touches a spike, he is dead. He, like, dies instantly. Oh, God. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I wish we had the uh, Hadouken or something. Oh, I think I just got an extra life. There's an extra life hidden in the arms of those things that just attacked me. Okay, now we get... We just load up on power there. That thing was good for our health, let me tell you. Hey, these things are pretty funny because they can, like, eat Mega Man. <laughs> then he's in a fish. They don't really do much damage unless you touch them by the side. Like, when you're inside, you can just shoot your way out. Pretty funny, actually. 
Get out of here, you stupid fish. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm just passing fish to fish. It's a feeding frenzy, and I'm on the menu. Oh, another one. <laughs> so is this how you thought you would spend your holidays, watching an idiot play Mega Man and laugh to himself with all the craziness? Oh, this is a lot harder now. Again, as I was just saying, Spike's not good for old Mega Man here. Ugh. Oh, God. You have to save that charge shot for those arms. Oh, no! Holy crap, I jumped off the wall there. Oh, no! Oh, oh, we're all over the place! This thing is playing for keeps! Holy crap! Oh, my God! Oh, God! How did we survive that? I, I won't survive, like, another round of this. Oh, my God. I did not remember that. Oh, and it gave us just, like, a little bit of power this time. Wow. Um, here's, this is fun. You can jump in these things. They're like uh, little towers of, uh, what, what would you call it? Like current or something? Like a little tornado underwater. I guess this is where Mega Man's robo, robo-ness reveals itself, because he can hold his breath forever. Uh, unlike Sonic, he doesn't have to look for air bubbles. Although air bubbles still come out of him. So it's like he's breathing, but he's not really bothered by not breathing. He's like, yeah, breathing. I could take it or leave it. Okay, what is... Looks like something's... Oh, there's there's something up here. There's some kind of evil boat. Well, don't worry. We'll take care of this boat. Imagine this boat had nothing to do with the war. It was just, like, fishing. And I just land here and just start pumping my X-Blaster into its side. Okay, can, can you go down now? You just die already. Boom! See, like, the level... Oh, oh, well, oh, I forgot about this. Am I supposed to... Am I about to die? I could be about to die. Or, yes, I think I'm getting a power-up. I forgot about this. Oh, don't you love when you, like, rediscover things in old games? Oh, right, there's a boss I gotta fight to do this, though. I can do this, though. I remember this boss. You can, like, ride him. Yeehaw! You screwed! You screwed! Oh, yeah. I'm just playing this boss like he's a pony. Oh, man, he's just getting blaster after blaster into the back of his head. He's like, this is not our one to spend my weekend. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go, power up. All right, let's see. Where is he? Where are you, buddy? Because you know what I want. I want to shoot you in the face more than I've already done. In fact, I don't even want to shoot you in the face. I just want to shoot you in the back of the head. Come on, where are you? Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how there wasn't even a wall, like, blocking me from leaving this area. Like, I could have walked this way at any point, but Mega Man was like, No, I need to kill everything in my way. I don't just let random animals live. Oh, my God. And I went up, like, two little blips. <laughs> it was, like, barely an increase. Oh, well, it was pretty easy to do. And it was fun. All right. Thank you, random ship. Many sailors died so I can get a little piece of robot heart. Kind of like the, uh... I'm like the, the video game equivalent of the Scarecrow. I need, oh, no, wait, he needs a brain. Who needs a heart? Tin Man? Tin Man needs a heart. Which, if they were doing the Wizard of Oz correctly and the Tin Man really needed a heart, they should have had him be, like, some kind of, like, horrific monster. Hey, look, it's this guy again. What are you doing? How did you repair yourself? Oh, okay. Now you're now you're an, under, an underground guy now, eh? All right. You've changed since I last met you. Hopefully you have not clued into this tactic. Yes! <laughs> Doesn't look like you have. Man, this is like the most ineffective boss ever. He's like, hmm. Well, I fly at him. Then he shoots me in the back of the head repeatedly. And look, his mouth is open. He's like, ah! God, this is, this is horrible. I'm completely ill-prepared Ill to fight this guy. Boom. I killed you twice. They don't come back unless you want a third. In fact, do come back, actually. I wish the every mini-boss is that easy. Oh, we got these guys again. All right, eat me. It's, like, safer for them to eat you because then you can't fall into the side of them and get damaged. Can we go up here? Is there anything? Nope. Nothing, nothing to see up there, folks. The camera won't even go up. It's like, you just stay down here and fight down here. This is where you're supposed to be. All right. Now, in the context of this game, Sigma is the big bad guy. Oh, you know what I haven't talked about? Is how there's no Dr. Wily. So I did mention before how this game takes place in a future... Um, oh, look at this octopus. He, like, points at me and then points at He's like, you're going down. I always love that. 
But this game takes place in a uh, in a, a future where there is no oh god, there's no hope. <laughs> there's no uh, Doctor Wily. It's like a hundred years after the original Mega Man. Oh god, are we gonna like run out of power juice here? Like I'm I'm using my my special power like crazy. Come on, die already! Ugh, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Okay, you know what? This it might be ridiculous, but I'm using my little tank there just to be safe. Oh god, because I did not want to die right there. Anyway, we're 100 years after the original Mega Man. We're actually not Mega Man. We're a character called X. Hence the Mega Man X. And Dr. Wily is dead. He's long gone. I think in later games it's revealed that some of his code was used in Sigma, which is the big bad guy in this game. So Sigma is basically like you. He's a good robot. He's a good Mega Man kind of robot, but he kind of started to malfunction and turned evil, which is kind of an interesting twist, an interesting villain for Mega Man. It's kind of like uh, an anti-Mega Man or a Nega Man or something. But yeah, it's a different Mega Man. Whole new world, guys. Whole new world. Okay, what should we do? Let's, let's beat uh, one more boss. And then we'll go ahead and uh, break it there. So who 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 uh, deserves our vengeance? Who do you think? Well, we just beat we just beat Launch Octopus. I think we can beat this guy. The boomerang guy is kind of really annoying. I think we can visit, beat him pretty easily though. Let's go ahead and give it a try. <clears throat> what is his name again? Boomer Kwango, Kwanger. He must be like a bug or something. Everything is themed, every robot is themed like an animal. There's no way to just let one slide. I don't know. Let one slide. Get it, guys, because I just slid. All right. This guy's kind of annoying here. This is like one of the few robots that's like not themed like, a, like an animal. He's like, what are you? He's like, I'm a guy with a ball and chain for an arm. Well, I guess it's those things. Oh yeah, these guys are annoying too. Every time you shoot at them, they try and like dodge. It's like, let's have the most annoying enemies back to back. That'll be fun. Um, all right, how are we gonna do this? Boom! The old sneak attack, shotgun blast to the back. All right. And I didn't, I never even knew what this level was supposed to be. Oh God, themed like. Oh yeah, if the lasers touch you, they don't hurt you. It just makes those things shoot at you, which is kind of interesting. Whee! So you gotta slide through all this. See how effective the slide is? You really need the slide for a lot in this game. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't know if I was gonna slide out of there. Now we got our, obviously, our big turtle robots that shoot parachuting bombs. Gotta have some of those in your factory slash army slash wherever they came from. Ah, oh, God. You know, I can sit here and make fun of the enemies, but definitely there's a lot of fun mechanics here. Like, um, every enemy has like a little bit of a pattern that you have to learn to beat it. And the patterns aren't hard, but learning learning the varieties of patterns that beat the different enemies is where the fun is in this game. And I always remember that as a kid. I always think that's why Mega Man games were good, is that there was fun patterns to learn. Games that have just arbitrary enemies, that's when things are not fun. Okay, I remember this elevator too, actually. So any one of those spikes would have just straight up killed me, ruined my holidays, ruined my little vacay here. But Mega Man, he, he has a good memory somehow for those levels he's theoretically never seen, but I've seen them. That's all that matters. So now we're like climbing the side of a building. There was like a little robot what was that? You're like a little gecko or something. Again, why does that exist in the context of this world? Like, who built that and for what purpose? Little sentient little robo geckos. I feel like Dr. Robotnik definitely had a hand in a lot of this. Okay. So we're just gonna avoid that. Just to have, I don't need that kind of stress in my life. I'm not gonna kill all those things. They're wasting my time. Ah, he got me. I do love the wall climbing mechanic in this game though, because it is, it feels very like good. It's like very easy to climb walls. Like look how easily you can do that. It's fun. All right. Now, if I had the boomerang, here's the one thing that's kind of annoying in this game. <clears throat> so 
you need power-ups to get things from other levels. Like, I needed the boomerang in the spark mandrel stage to get that heart, but I need it here too, and you only get the boomerang by beating this stage. So there's kind of, there's no way you can go through this game without having to somehow repeat levels. And that's not like a bad thing, because this, this game's really fun and the levels are really well done, so it's fun to replay them, but that said, you know, if you were like trying to speed run or like do 100%, like it seems weird that it would put something in a level that you need to beat the level to get. It just, it's a weird, weird thing to do. Okay, you might maybe like, what the hell are you supposed to do here? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a little power up. And we're gonna kill him because he was being a dick. He was camping the top of those stairs. And I didn't like it. Oh God, <laughs> almost fell down. That would have that would have been sad. So uh, yeah, Ugh. get out of here. There we go. I guess you can kill those guys with that that spark mandrel gun really easily. But again, I don't like you. I don't like wasting the power ups because they kind of go quickly. And like, hey, I'm skilled enough. I don't need no stinking power ups. Look, I got to the end of the level, only had to use a spark thing once. How much energy do I have in my energy tank? Nothing. All right, so if we do not get this guy, we are in a lot of trouble. Uh, what is he vulnerable to? I think he's vulnerable to homing missiles. <clears throat> At least I hope so. If he's not, we might die here. It might be a holiday tragedy. Like, what is he? What kind of robot can, like, just teleport like that and shoots boomerangs? I don't get it. But anyway. Oh, yeah, look at this. His whole thing is he, like, teleports all over the place, but you just sit in a corner firing <laughs> little homing missiles. Oh, man, he's, like, he's nothing. I don't even have to be in the corner. Boom. Oh, I think I shot him in the groin. He's like, oh, why would you shoot me there? My one weakness. How did you know? <laughs> missiles, my only weakness. Shouldn't missiles be a general weakness to all the robots? Just saying. So, yeah. We've been we've been rocking it, guys. And I feel like we've been enjoying our vacation. This is the best Christmas present of all, the boomerang cutter. Look, see? And if you hit a power-up with it, it will come back to you. So now we kind of have to go back and redo a couple of levels. So, uh, might do that. I might do that in the meantime. And, uh... When you or you know what? No. Let's wait. Let's wait. We'll do we'll redo all the levels once we beat all the bosses before we go on to fight the final boss. To hell with to hell with picking up all the power-ups as we go. We're gonna play it dangerous. Guys, if you have been enjoying this let's play so far, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a couple days with the next holiday entry in my Mega Man X Miss series. Hope you guys have been feeling the holiday love here. And the, uh, just a chance to go back and play a game that we, well, I loved as a kid. And uh, I'm in my pajamas right now. I got a fire going. I got uh, a warm drink beside me. And I am enjoying my holidays, I got to say. And I hope you are too. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great time. And I hope you'll come back and you'll see where Mega Man's Adventures will take him next. And I got a hint for you. Uh, an elephant's fire palace and a lizard's robot forest. So, sounds pretty awesome, right? And you don't want to miss the big the big battle with the big bad guy at the end. So, again, tune back in. And until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, have a great holidays, and of course, peace. Okay, I'm not even gonna try, because I feel like he's gonna kill me right away. But uh, this is how you fight him with Chill Penguin's gun. Oh, God. Oh, God! That's not how you fight him with Chill Penguin's gun. Good thing, dear God, good thing we got those extra lives.